Okay, let's check out number 31. In countless panel discussions on the future of technology, I'm not sure I ever got anything right. As I look back on technological progress, I experience first retrospective surprise, then surprise that I'm surprised because it all crept up on me when I wasn't looking. How can something like Google feel so inevitable and yet be impossible to predict? I'm filled with wonder at all that we engineers have accomplished, and I take great communal pride in how we've changed the world in so many ways. Decades ago, I never dreamed we would have satellite navigation, computers in our pockets, the internet, cell phones, neither robots that would explore Mars. How did all this happen, and what are we doing for our next trip? The software pioneer Alan Kay has said that the best way to predict the future is to invent it, and that's what we've been busy doing. So, 31 says, the word it, underlined in the sentence, as I look back on technological progress, I experience first retrospective surprise, then surprise that I'm surprised because it all crept up on me when I wasn't looking, refers to which idea mentioned in the text. A. Retrospective surprise. B. Technological progress. C. Panel discussions. D. Future of technology. Or E. Experience. The correct answer here will be letter B, technological progress. We can see clearly here in the beginning of the text where the author states, as I look back on technological process, etc., etc. The rest of the sentence is a continuation of the same thought, so letter B would be correct, technological progress. Okay, let's take a look at number 32. The sentence, how can something like Google feels so inevitable and yet be impossible to predict means that a Google was inspired in impossible predictions B Google has risen out of a prophecy C it is impossible to imagine today's world without Google D it's amazing that Google has not been foretold or E people like Google but think it's impossible to improve it okay for this question we actually have two correct answers both letters C and D are correct. Letter C states that it is impossible to imagine today's world without Google, which reinforces his point of view that Google seems inevitable. Letter D states that it's amazing that Google has not been foretold. Even though the author affirms the impossibility of foretelling Google, he compares this fact to inevitability of the same Google. When he asks how something can be inevitable, and impossible to predict at the same time, he's reinforcing the idea of the shock of the fact that Google wasn't foretold. Letter A states that Google was inspired in impossible predictions, which was never stated in the text. The author simply states that it is impossible to foretell the immersion of Google. Letter B states that Google has risen out of prophecy, which also has not been mentioned in the text. Letter E states that people like Google would think it's impossible to improve it, which also has no mention in the text. So once again, letters C and D are both correct. Let's take a look at number 33. In the sentence, decades ago, I never dreamed we would have satellite navigation, computers in our pockets, the internet, cell phones, neither robots that would explore Mars. The word neither can be changed for which of the following words, still keeping the same meaning and grammatical accuracy. A. When B. But C. Or D. Then or E. So. The correct answer here is letter C because this is the only one that keeps the same meaning. When means a time or period that something is happening. In Portuguese you would say quando. But is except or unless and in Portuguese you would say mice. Or is used to correlate either or, whether or. In Portuguese it would still be the same. Then means at that time, which in Portuguese would be então. So is in that way or manner, which in Portuguese would be tanto. 
So, once again, letter C or is our correct answer. Let's move on to number 34. According to the passage, we can say that its author, A, isn't good at making predictions, B, doesn't consent to technological advances, C, can't invent the future, D, doesn't realize changes have taken place, or E, rejects the present technological inventions. The correct answer here is letter A, because the author writes about his surprise in relation to scientific progress. If he was surprised with the advancements, then it indicates that he didn't see it coming, which indicated that he's not good at making predictions. Letter B states that the author doesn't consent to technological advances, which is not stated in the text. Letter C states that the author can't invent the future. The author closes the text, stating that Alan Kay has said that the best way to predict the future is to invent it, and that's what we've been doing. So we can see that that's wrong. Letter D states that the author doesn't realize changes have taken place when the text itself is talking about the progress of technology. Letter E states that the author rejects the present technological inventions, which is not mentioned in the text. So once again, the correct letter is A, isn't good at making predictions. Okay. And the next video will be... We will start at number 35. Okay, so see you at the next video. Thank you for assisting us and hope to see you next time. Despedem-se aqui, professor Fabiano Ferreira e Jessica Marques.